set this machine down here. And here we have our high precision cleaver that comes with the kit with the splicer here. And I'm going to go ahead and splice my first fiber here, which will be blue. It's my 900 micron fiber. And I'm going to first strip off the 900 micron coating here. And when you're doing 900 micron fiber, you want to strip off little pieces at a time. So you're not putting too much pressure on the fiber and breaking it. And now I'm going to clean off the acrylate coating. It's the last hole in the stripper. Make sure all the acrylate coating is off the fiber. So now I'm going to get a Kim wipe. Um, some techs prefer pre-moistened alcohol wipes. Um, my preference is Kim wipe um, with some standard. 99% clean alcohol and wipe it a few times to get any any oils, dirt, any substances off. So now with our cleaver, we want to start with our blade towards the front, not not in the back. Always towards the front before you lay your fiber in. We're going to lift lift our fiber holder here. And as you can see, we have a bigger groove in the back and a smaller groove in the front. The groove in the back is for the 900 micron, the thicker, thicker coating. The groove in the front would be bare 250 micron fiber. Um, that would be more of your outside plant fiber. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna put it in at the back groove here and. With 900 micron, we want to have our our coating to about 18 millimeters. If you go shorter, it's not going to fit in the chuck in the splicer. So when you're doing 900 micron, cleave it at about 18 millimeters. So now I'm going to close this here, and now we close our our top lid. All we do once everything's closed, do one shot to the back, lift our lid, and here's our fiber scrap. And always put it in a container, um, not just in the trash can or it could blow out, get in your skin, and it's not fun. So we're going to go ahead and lay this in the splicer, and I'm going to go ahead and put this down, and I'll get a better view guys to see here. Here we go. So I laid my fiber in, laid it into the V groove, and I have my fiber right almost up to the electrodes, but not crossing the electrodes. If you if you cross the electrodes, it's going to say fiber over on. So you want to have your bare fiber almost up to the electrodes, but not crossing crossing the center of them. So now I'm going to get my next pair, next fiber here, and you don't want to forget to put your splice sleeve on. It's never fun when you have to break a good splice to put your splice sleeve on. And when you're working, always keep the lid closed uh, so dust and, and dirt in the air doesn't get in the splicer. So I'm putting my splice sleeve on at my 900 micron fiber here. Slide it through, just slide it down, get it out of the way. So again, same thing, strip off a little piece of 900 micron fiber. Again, laying it in my cleaver, about 18 millimeters. Get 
safe 18 millimeters. Close here. Make sure my blade's towards the front. Close. And one shot to the back. Get rid of it. Scrap fiber. I'm gonna lay fiber in here. Again. Almost up to the electrodes, but not touching it. There we go. I have both fibers almost to the electrodes. Might be hard to see on your screen, but almost touching the electrodes, but not crossing the center line. So now I'm going to hit this green button. That is the set button. So now I will set. As you can see, here's the fibers coming together. Here's your core. It's arcing. Now, there's my clean fusion splice, it's fused together, and here's my loss estimation. Now this is just an esti estimation when, when the splicer gives you a loss. Um, it's pretty close, um, but the general, the general calculation should be tested with a parameter OTDR, but this gives you a nice calculation so you have a reference, and it, and it stores in the splicer. So you could reference it later, uh, blue fiber, um, and this tray had this this loss, so you could calculate it. So if you have a problem, you could go back and see if you had a high loss at a certain splice to go check it or resplice. So I slid my splice sleeve up. You want to slide your splice sleeve up to the the wind protector before you open it, just so you don't have bare fiber and you're trying to slide this up and break the the splice. So we want to do that first before we open the lid slide our splice sleeve up and now I'm going to open our lid open one clamp at a time here close our clamp and now this is our, our fusion splice in the middle here so we want to slide up carefully without bending that fiber too much and center center the, the bare fiber so we want to have coating 900 micron coating inside the splice sieve on equal sides. So now we're going to, with the heater closed, we're going to open the heater, both clamps, and lay the, the splice sleeve into the clamps and they automatically shut. As soon as you lay it in, you have to push down the other one, close the lid, and close our wind protector.